What's up you guys? How's your day going so far? Just thought I'd finally get around to doing this Q&A that I was talking about. Unfortunately, Connor will not be joining me in this. I'll be honest, we kind of just forgot to do it when he came out. <laughs> we thought we were going to do this challenge video and another video and we really, really wanted to get this exciting vlog footage and long story short, everything just kind of backfired and we decided we just really wanted to hang out. We still made a video which is still gonna go up, but unfortunately, I do regret to say and I strongly apologize, but we really just ended up mostly vlogging and hanging out. But I feel really bad that we didn't, so I'm gonna just do this Q&A myself, if that's okay with you guys. Where do you see yourself next year, five years, ten years from now? To answer that, honestly, I really have no idea where I'm going to be five, ten years from now, maybe next year even. I don't know how big exactly, but in the vlogs I always, not always, but usually talk about wanting to grow my channel and basically make just a big positive community out of it. And I see myself running that on my channel. I don't know how big it'll, I don't know how big it would be, but I imagine it. Basically, I just see myself running my channel still, and we have just made the big positive community that I want to make. Zach O'Hara asks, I'll be honest, there's a few questions in there I don't really feel too comfortable answering right now, but I will answer a couple of them for sure. Have I ever done any other drugs besides alcohol? Uh, that doesn't really make too much sense. Alcohol's not exactly a drug. <laughs> that doesn't make too much sense, no offense bro, but I, I, I know what you mean. I'm sorry, I'm just making fun. But no, I don't do any drugs. I don't do pot, I don't smoke cigarettes, nothing. I just drink beer on weekends and sometimes during, you know, the weekdays, but not too much. Don't follow my example though. Do not follow me. I know many of you out there are, are gonna watch this and go, I drink. I highly do not recommend drinking, but if you do, please drink responsibly. I'm sucking with this, but I just, no, I wouldn't drink. Who's your biggest YouTube influence and why? Technically, I have two, and I'm pretty sure you guys know who both of them are. Charles Trippy of the CTFXC and Roman Atwood. Smile more. Roman, I'm going to start with Roman. Roman is my second biggest YouTube influence because most of his videos are genuinely entertaining, and even the ones he thinks are boring, I think are still entertaining. I feel like I'm watching a friend, if you will. But... But I love the message he... Wow, I'm really pale. It's not just how entertaining he is. It's the positive message he sends. You know, the smile more stuff. I just like the message that he's sending with smile more, the positive thing. It's... We need positivity in our lives. There is so much negativity in the world. And we all need to start being more positive. Charles has the same, he doesn't do smile more or anything, but he's still, he's, him and his family and his girlfriend Allie, they're also trying to send a positive message to the world. I mean, granted, he, most of it, most of the time, he was just trying to be entertaining and keep his Guinness record, which is fine. I don't blame him. If I had that, I would want to keep that too. But he also has a positive message to send, and... That is what I love. Granted, I started watching his videos just like any other YouTuber. Oh, I like this guy. I like watching him. He just seems fun. He, he seems fun to watch and his girlfriend is great. Him and his girlfriend are fun to watch. Him and their family, it's cool every now and And to this day, it's still fun to watch him every day. He actually, like, I may only be watching his videos, but he genuinely feels like family to me. The message they're, they're all trying to bring is positivity. Granted, Charles is doing it in a different way, so it seems to me. I suck at explaining this stuff, but bottom line, I love the positivity. I love the positivity. Okay, okay, okay. What's your best way to meet girls? <laughs> I'll be honest, I have none. <laughs> I have none. I suck at trying to get girls. That's not even just trying to be, you know, self-pity or... I, I, I suck at getting women, plain and simple. If I'm gonna give you any advice on meeting girls, it's just be nice. Do your thing, do your best flirting, I guess. Just be nice to her, don't... 
don't be a jerk. For now, unfortunately, that's going to be all for this little Q&A, if you will. Thank you for watching. Watching? Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Before I go, it's my first Q&A. Uh, if you still want to ask, you know, just anything, by all means. I just wanted to kickstart this for, you know, future Q&As. Click anywhere on the screen to watch today's vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. As for the Q&A, send me more questions, and I'll see you next time. Well, granted, it doesn't look like much, but trust me, it's transitioning. It's just very slow right now.